Hey folks, Whip here, and welcome on back to Better Minecraft. And wow, it's been a little while since I've said that one. If you're excited for this series to continue, please be sure to leave a like down below. But with that, let's get rocking. Today, I want to sort out our food problem. Candy corn isn't the best. And on top of that, I want to finally move our villagers into their homes up here with the smithing table. We've got a lectern and we've got a mining bench from the more villagers mod as well as another lectern to hopefully get some enchanted books that are actually worthwhile then down here the villagers actually started breeding i guess i just need to spend a little bit more time in the area but now with this brand new bakery that we built last time we hopefully should be able to make all of the different foods that we want we have our little garden out in the back that's growing kind of if we bone meal things but unfortunately we're still in winter so no food is actually able to grow or no crops are able to grow last time we tried big braining it and finding some modded crops that might have maybe grown maybe once in a while but that that didn't work out in our favor so we've got to really get through winter today to actually you know be able to feed our people so that the villagers keep breeding and the ultimate goal over here was originally to create burritos but it looks like creating tostadas instead could be a little bit easier as we only need black beans tomatoes and lettuce and then we get the tortilla from getting some flour which we can get from all of the corn and then we just need some water in our frying pan now that is celery we have radish we have blackberries tomatillos black beans and and spinach so we need to find tomatoes and lettuce somehow still it looks like breaking grass only gives us uh, seeds so there goes that idea what do we got over here black beans oh we can get some more that'll be nice we will deal with that in a minute though as night is setting and maybe this will mean the end of the season and the end of all of our problems nope still winter what we can do in the meantime however is move our villagers into their home for that we're gonna need a bunch of different types of rails oh we can make a gold shield wait that could be useful maybe for now i'm gonna just grab an iron shield aha defense that is really filling up the screen though holy cow i hate that all right first villager we've got a few minecarts down here let's see where you're going right in here hello my friend tova how you doing get you out of your minecart and plop the smithing table right down there for you you want to take a job you want a job yeah i can't do it this shield two two in the way two in the way can i put it on the back slot though that'd be kind of cool Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, yep, yep, I can put it on the back. <laughs> that's a really big shield. That's, that's a, oh man, I feel very protected now. I'm gonna just leave it there. We'll just, we'll just remember that later and laugh about it, right? Oh no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Would you like to be a librarian? Now this profession here, the mining bench, I am super curious about that. Ishmael, can you, can you help me out? Um, what, what do you trade? And there we go, the last villager is ready. Hopefully we got some new babies coming through into here soon. Seems to be really slow though. All right, there we have it. All four villagers are in place and that's gonna be amazing. Have any taken their jobs? We got Tova with a toolsmith over here. We've got coal trading for emeralds and then stone pickaxes. They're gonna be really nice once they're fully like unlocked. That's gonna be amazing. Over here, we've got just a bookshelf trade. And you know what? I've gotta trade these guys a few times, but I can't even unlock them yet. But just to be safe, we'll do a trap door right here so that they can't get out. You buddy are trading deep slate. Oh, silk touch deep slate for emeralds. Wait, oh, we have a vein mining diamond pickaxe here. If we just put silk touch on that and go down to underneath, that's gonna be crazy free emeralds. And then we can buy calcite. You buddy, what do you got? Nothing so far, that's, that's fine. Speaking of all that though, this diamond pickaxe over here is a little low. And I also realized that I only actually have one piece of diamond armor. We've got an iron helmet, we've got Cincinnati leggings and no boots. So up here, we've got a few diamonds I can use. So how many diamonds will it take to upgrade this all the way? Three and all of my levels. That is a bit of a bummer, but I think it's gonna be worth it for what I've got planned. And then on top of that, we can finally get some diamond boots for ourselves. Down to three diamonds now, and I don't even have fortune yet, do I? That's a problem. All right, one more diamond pickaxe over here, and we're gonna head to, I believe we have the zombie spawner, all the way on the far side of the island. Yeah, right down in here, perfect. And now I can just hang out here for a little while and get some experience, and then we can enchant the pick. There we go, level 35 and one more level should do it. And there we go, one more for good measure. Any goodies in here? Ooh, iron. I still don't know what these do. 
I still don't know. When did I fill this with corn seed? Huh. I must have really wanted to get rid of some items. Headed into the enchanting greenhouse, we've got some lapis. Perfect, there we go. Unbreaking three, what are we gonna roll off of that? Efficiency four, that's really good, but not what I want. I really didn't put a grindstone in here. Wow, okay. Turns out it's because I've never made one. So we've gotta make our first grindstone. And it can just go right over there. Okay, resetting this pickaxe. Take two, fortune two. Ooh, do we get anything else? Nope. It's, uh, do we roll it again? We've got one more chance. You know what? Fortune two is better than nothing and I don't want to risk it. So we're going to go diamond mining now to see what we can find. And now that I have a little bit of experience in 1.18, I think we can get some pretty quickly here through strip mining if we go all the way down. That is at least if this mod pack also follows the same things 1.18 has. Well, we found some diamonds already, so that that's a good start. That's a great start right there. Yep, 13 diamonds. I think that's more than I've ever had at one time. And that is a lot of cobbled deep slate already. Holy cow. Okay, um, we'll keep some of it. But let's try the old trick of finding a chunk border and just going along that. And maybe since we're revealing even more, we'll get a better chance. Oh, nope, that's that's lava. Yeah, I think that means we stop going this direction. Yeah, we'll just we'll just go back now. And maybe we try the other direction. Yeah, I'm starting to think diamonds are just pretty dang rare inside this mod pack because I have went through this entire pickaxe, mining all the way down there, all the way over there, and now all the way over there. And we still only got the 13 we found right at the start. Oh man. Oh, skeleton dog, skeleton dog, what are you? Oh, that's such a sad sound. Well, I guess if anything, we at least made a profit. You know what we could do? Instead of smashing all this stuff in the barrel over here, we can smelt it down. That way I can at least get some emeralds going and we can start unlocking that miner villager because I am very curious. Augment Anchor Chaos Zone. Grants strength to all players within a claim. How big is said claim? Oh, it's pretty easy to craft. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious. Well, it looks like I made a mistake here of we need to first get a makeshift claim anchor, I think, and then we get an ender pearl, and then we need stone and logs. So I just need to look out. So I just need to be on the lookout for an enderman that we can hopefully kill. Yeah, fine. But outside of that, I think it's finally time to get ourselves full diamond armor with exactly the number of diamonds we need. Yay. Oh, just kidding. We have ender pearls right in here. So we take one of those guys. Get a little bit of stone, some logs, and we make our makeshift claim anchor. Can we upgrade this to reinforced already? Blocks of iron, stone, and block of iron. Okay. Yes, we can. There we go. Perfect. So we got that. And what's the next level? Just gold? Ooh, I think I can do that too. There's a really cool one in here called a village core, which protects all villagers with a claim from damage caused by hostile mobs. Do I have one emerald? I do. And I crafted the wrong thing. Okay, I don't think we can make one. I think there's a conflicting recipe, unfortunately. Because the recipe is supposed to be this and emerald and that. Oh, ah, smart mod. Now I have no idea how big the claim is, but let's try and put it right here in the center. And then if I do this guy and I just put this on top, does that, does that work? This one is supposed to be strength. Do they just need to touch i had to go craft these goggles of claim revealing and this is apparently our claim the giant box in the sky but i'm trying to figure out how to get these cores working uh, apparently i can't move that so that could be a problem well from what i can tell it looks like we just start lining these up around the sky and if we come in here eventually we'll see strength onto the side from the chaos zone nope I'm still seeing nothing. Uh, we're just gonna hope this works and leave it be for now. Well, now that the sun's setting, a great thing we can actually test here is apparently it's supposed to stop mob spawns. So we're pretty late in the night here now. I haven't seen anything yet. I actually haven't really seen any mobs anywhere. Baglahas. I haven't done all that great of a job of lighting up the base, but so far I'm not seeing any mob spawns. Oh, there's a creeper. I don't know if he's inside. He No, he's outside of the box. Oh, does it work? We now have a safety box. Nice. Well, with all that messing around of the get off my lawn mod, we finally have all of the deep slate smelted here. What are we going to be able to get from this dude besides 12 emeralds? And we can now trade raw iron and raw copper for emeralds. 
that's not the best, buddy. Can we just... Nope, that's... Nope, that's not gonna unlock him at all. Okay, we'll slowly get him upgraded. In the meantime, I did run back down to the zombie spawner and got a few more levels for ourselves here so we can enchant all three of the pieces of diamond gear we have. That's fire protection. We already have it. Protection, we already have that. Protection three. Okay, well, let's just get the boots out of the way. We'll take that. Unbreaking, a uh, bummer, and fire protection. You really want to give me fire protection, don't you? Well, I guess that kind of helps with today's next plan. Since I'm mostly just waiting for winter to end at this point in time, I thought we could jump into the nether and see if we can't find ourselves another portal. Yep, this is the terrifying place I remember. Oh, yeah. Oh, and I still... Oh, they're everywhere. I still didn't bring any ranged weapons. Ow! Oh god, there's more. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Oh, I hate everything. I hate everything in here right now. Oh, it's just... <laughs> I, I, don't, I hate everything in that... It's even more terrifying. I, I, I want to leave the nether so badly right now. Oh my god, I want to leave so badly. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> just okay. How we doing tonight? I am not okay. Not okay at all. Holy cow, that was chaos. I got a seed though. Well, if we die, there's at least a graves mod that we can come back to. So that's that's good. I want to see what the giant fiery jellyfish thing is. And an evil spooky bat. Hi, are you my friend? Flying pig. Oh, you're a friend. Look at that chaos. Oh my lord. <laughs> I hate all of this. Oh, I hate all of this. Okay. Oh, there's another fortress. Oh, we found one. That's nice. What is this biome? Oh, that's a spooky thing. A wart log. We have nether moss. How kind. We've got nether wart over here, so that's a big upgrade. A naga. It's dead. I killed it. We've got black vines from the better nether. I might as well take one of these home with me. We got wall moss. I love it. Oh, this is so much more peaceful in the biome that actually looks like it should kill you. Oh, there's a blaze. Of course, there's, there's all, ah, oh, my gosh. I'm just over here picking my mushrooms. Oh, boys come down of nowhere. What I'm really most curious about is what is, oh, that's lava. What is this? I want to know what this thing is. Hello, are you friend? He's just floating. Hydrogen jellyfish. I'll just, you look, you look nice. I'll, I'll leave you be, buddy. Yep. We set our lows and I'm going to go off this direction. Right to the nether fortress. Yay. You know what? It might fill the entire screen, but I should probably put this in my offhand. Yeah, I'm really glad I did that. We've made it. We're in. We're in the fortress. That's a piggy. He can stay alive. Oh God, what are those? Oh, no, I hate that. Oh, it's baby. I hate all this. With her puppets. At least they can't wither you. At least they don't apply wither. Okay, that, duh. Still hate, still hate, still very much hate. Oh, it's because he's summoning them. Of course. Oh, I hate, and I'm blind. And I'm, I'm withery blind. Oh, I killed him. Yay. What did he drop? A respiration three book. That's kind of cool. Okay, we're going in. We're gonna see if we can kill the wildfire before we die. Nope, we're probably dying. I'm so glad I have two pieces of fire protection right now, though. Oh, oh he has a shield. That's not fair. Oh, we did it. Oh, we did it. Oh, we did it. Oh, wow. I feel so much better now. What did I get? Molten shards. Okay. I just need some blaze rods. That's all we're here for. We got to load more nether wart down here, though, which will be nice. Some gold and some soul seeds. I have no idea what those do. I gotta say, though, the nether in this mod pack is pretty crazy looking. Very much they have captured the hellish vibe. Also, I very much hate it. Look at that, a blaze shooting at us from afar. Oh, so kind. Oh, we've got more of these. Oh no, he's a super one. He's a super one. He's not a normal one. Oh, okay. Yep, I think I killed him, but yeah, that, uh huh. We got iron gear, chain gear, leather pants, of course. We got a stone pickaxe here. That'll get us very, very far, I'm sure. And an iron sword. Yep, let's, yeah. Walk of shame time it is. So far, the guests haven't noticed me. We're going, we're good. There's just fire everywhere. Eventually, gas will no longer spawn here because there's so much fire that they've created and then it'll be safe.
This is actually much closer than I thought it would be. Okay, we're actually almost there. Oh, there's another explodey boy, or I didn't kill him. But there's... Oh, no. I thought he was dead. We're going tunnel mode. Okay, I think we've got just about everything back so far. I've just got to get the rest of it out of here. Okay, where is he? There's two of them. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, I hate this. I can't even see the dude's health. This is, oh, no, 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 no. If he doesn't explode with like 50 blaze rods, this is not, not at all worth it. I ran away, but I think I see a bunch of slime blocks over there. Oh, I am so scared right now. I do! Look at that! Wait, that's really, really good. We need slime very badly. Oh, oh, it's a Hydra. Oh, it's a Hydra. Okay, they spit. They spit wither at you. Look at all that. Oh, there's so much slimy stuff. Okay, we got him. Okay, making sure it's safe, and then we can get the slime blocks. That at least is something today. That's at least we've got something. 12 slime blocks. And what is this biome over here? Everything's green. Oh, there's actually slimes jumping around. This biome seems much nicer. Much, oh, the slimes are on fire. Yeah, much nicer. And now I am also on fire. Oh, it's so nice. <gasps> the big boy fell down. Can we take him out this time? I'm gonna be very careful. And I think when he comes out of his shield, he has a chance of exploding if you're up closer too long. <gasps> I killed him. Oh, he was so close to being dead. And he didn't drop anything. Wow, that was fun. Yeah, so fun. Oh, I love the nether. I love the nether. Now, what do the jellyfish drop? I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, they explode. I am very glad I didn't punch the one earlier. Or maybe he exploded. I don't know. Something exploded. Oh, he's up there. Okay, we're about to take him. Nope, they still explode. Still exploding. Not again. I don't know why I'm trying to run this circuit without any armor or anything, but I did, and it's uh, it's probably not gonna go well. Don't punch the jellyfish. Don't punch the jellyfish. The jellyfish are nice. We don't harm the fiery exploding balls of jellyfish. Oh, it's a hydra. Oh, it's multiple hydra. Oh, cue all of the scary spooky sounds everywhere. Yep, this is fun. I'm having a great time. And now, a piglin. Yay! Oh, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. I think it's just straight ahead, past the fiery explosions of everything. Oh, nope, that's not how they die. That's how I die a second time. Yep, here we go. No. Oh, wow. No, thank you. Leave me alone. I'd like to be in my box now. Thank you. Ah, we can get it. No, 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 no. No, bread. Please, bread. Hi, buddy. How you doing? Oh, I killed him. Oh, amazing. Blaze rods. Oh, finally. Can you? Can you? Excuse me. Excuse me. Stop spitting at me. Well, we have one blaze rod. That will not quite get us to the end. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, this was something else. We got some more nether wart down here at least, so there's, there's hope for something. Wait, a molten shard over here can turn into four blaze powder, or it can turn into a wildfire shield part, which I don't know what those do. Oh, you just turn it into, with a shield, to a wildfire shield. Oh, okay. Well, we take this, and this, that's six blaze powder, which means we're almost halfway to the amount of eyes that we actually need to open up the end portal to where I'm sure that'll be a much more lovely dimension to hang out in. Please not over the lava like, oh, don't knock me into lava, please. Please, just blaze rods, somebody. Oh, thank you, there's one. And look at you little blazes out in the death valley. Yeah, I love it out there too. Oh no, oh no, I don't. Oh, I finally found some more blazes. I'm thinking the red sand areas are almost better. Oh, lots of fire though. You get back here. Oh, no, no, no. But they drop redstone dust out here. Oh, I think I see a regular fortress blaze. Where'd he go? There he is, still nothing. I see you, more redstone. Oh, they're legit called desert blazes. Okay, that makes a lot more sense now. I thought they were just regular blazes. This has to be a regular blaze, please. Nope, nope, still desert, still desert. And the gas are back. Oh, the gas are back. No, I hate this. Oh, I hate this so much. Oh, I hate this a lot. Oh, this is really bad. These desert blazes. Oh, those look like regular blazes. Okay, finally. I think we can get enough to get out of here. I want to leave the nether so badly. No, don't fly over the lava. Got him. Got him. Blaze rod, please. Got it. Got it. Okay. I am convinced that I have simply found the worst possible nether fortress. I think that's the only conclusion here. Okay, we're done. We're done. That, that gives us 12. We can leave. Oh, I'm out of arrows and all the gas are back. All right. Well, I was going to go get that chest down there. There's one. There's one. Nope. There's a lot of fire. I need to leave. Some mod pack developer out there really said, you know, the soul sand valley. Let's make it look all nice and friendly. 
and make it even more terrible. People will love my mod pack for that. Yeah. Want to know what's a huge bummer right now? This. This is a huge bummer. Looting too, sitting here waiting for me to put on my sword. That would have helped us get so many more blaze rods. 11 levels, I think that's still pretty worth it. I also apparently have a feather falling four book so we can get that on the boots. Well, we did get all the nether wart we're gonna need for quite a while. So I think I'm just gonna throw it right back here next to the nether portal. We'll just put a little patch of soul salt and at least get a little bit of it going. Well, I guess on things we've accomplished so far today, we can at least list getting a bunch of bone. And our 12 blaze powder. We just need 12 ender pearls and then we can actually go to the end and fight the dragon. And I feel like that's gonna be horrifying inside this mod pack. But for now, I wanna do a little bit of exploring around the world since it's very easy to get across the rivers with all of the ice we might as well take advantage of that. I don't know if they grow in the winter, but we're on the lookout for tomato seeds as well as lettuce. So far we have celery and spinach, elderberries, that's new, and some raspberries. Zombie doctor, wait, what? When did I cure a villager? Huh, enjoy your life, my friend. I guess I helped you. Oh, that's a bear. I believe we found a pillager camp. Not even a tower, just a straight up camp over here. Okay, boys, come on. Come on, I'm just passing through. I didn't even, you guys attacked me first. Okay, these dudes got a lot of health. Holy cow, oh, I hate him, I hate him, I hate him. But there's radishes, we have to go back. Oh, they're, it's big camp, very big camp. We've dealt with the first group, but it looks like this is an entire pillager village. Oh, yep, they all seem, anything in here. People are strange, I hate you. Thunderslash, what the heck is that? Random things, okay, these guys, these chests aren't the most amazing. It appears that everybody keeps respawning, so I think we just gotta run around and find what we can get and get out of here. We have lettuce. Oh my God, we got one. What do we have here? Broccoli? We'll take broccoli. We have one lettuce to build our fields. Nope, there's more up here. Maybe this will work to take them all out because not all of these seem to have the high health going. It's just an endless horde of villagers. They just never stop coming. Am I the raider here? It's getting quieter. I think this is the last. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I killed like 20 of them there. Nope, there's more. They're respawning. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, there's another vindicator. Run this way. Oh, those are bears. Underwater. Just getting a little snack down here and we can go back in. Oh, they're everywhere. Night is falling, but I really want to finish looting this place. Let's at least get the emeralds. This is the dude that was killing me. Yep, still doing that. Maybe I can just sleep all the way down here and they won't be able to get me. Yes, <laughs> I love Minecraft. Look at all of the salmon. It's beautiful. Oh, it killed itself. I think besides some hay bales, I've got everything I want out of here, except emeralds. Thank you. Oh, no. Yes. And with that, it is time to leave the pillager village. The next crop we found, kale. Some barley, but I believe I already have this at home. Mustard though. Food and hospitality. What is this place up here? Is this a friendly? Is this friendly? Are we invited? They have bread for us, so that's pretty nice. Oh, this is a really cool place. Wow. Appears that nobody lives here besides the cows, but we're at least able to get some loot. Oats, no, we found oats. <laughs> get it. Corn, but we have plenty of that at home, so we don't need any more. I realized to save some inventory space, I can actually just turn all of the things that we've already gotten down into seeds of themselves. Hi. No, you don't want to be my friend. Well, if we tried black bean seeds. <gasps> Yay, we got a parrot. Sweet. Uh, second one? Yes, two parrots. And from there, I also did find this airship. I really don't want to break my diamond chest piece, but I'm very curious. All right, I'm already hearing zombies, so that means it's not friendly in here. Oh, we got one light on. Did we do something? Oh, oh, hi. Oh, you guys are just fancy looking skeletons. Oh, they're the airship people with a lot of armor. Holy cow, hi. Get rid of the skeleton spawner in there and we've got a note block. I'm blind from something and I don't know where it came from. That probably has to do with being blind, you know? It's like these skeletons, they throw blindness potions at you. Okay, spawner's out, we're safe, we're getting better. Holy cow, four diamonds, aerial affinity. I wanna take those home. 21 iron back here, a balloon, one in hand increases jump height. Oh, a diamond. Okay, I like that. I've been running around here, poking into every single redstone contraption thing that I see just in case there's like something hidden behind it. And that was the first thing I actually found, but I guess there is stuff back here. Well, I think I've successfully torn apart most of this ship and haven't found anything new. So I think we're done. Except I did just notice that giant thing over there. Yeah, we'll come back for that eventually. Maybe. Oh, no, 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 sir, sir. Oh, there's a lot of them. 
Make it to the tree, please. Okay, we're out. I'm running away now. I think it's time for me and my two buddies to head on home. I'm giving up on the tomatoes for now. We have so many other types of crops that are brand new for us, and we have to be able to make something from these. We'll figure it out. The fabled tomato right next to our home. We are directly over this little land right over there. We found one. With these tomatoes, we can finally make our first tostadas. Hello, magic rainbow sheep. It's nice to see you again. Finally back home, and we have so much stuff. I'm I'm really curious what this thunder slash thing is. So if you have any ideas, be sure to let me know. But I'm going to start a redstone chest down there. We'll put all of those in. Book goes in here. Even more bones for the bone collection. And so many seeds. Look at that. And the final invention I think we can make out of this is a sleeping bag, which I believe we can just use and sleep on the ground. And it won't reset our spawn. So rainbow bed, you've served me well, but you're going to go in there for now. And birdies, welcome on home. Enjoy your time with the puppy dogs. In fact, Finally, the lettuce and tomatoes are going to have to start a new section right outside of our little garden. And for now, I'm going to throw all of the extra seeds that we have in this barrel. From here, we're going to need a lot of corn and finally tapping into the bone meal supply making a bunch of flour. And now time to get a bunch of tomatoes and can't forget about the lettuce and probably a few more black beans. Now from here, we need to make a bunch of tortillas, which it looks like we need a unique bucket of water for each of them. Oh, that's gonna be painful. Infinite water source under the pot, it is. And there we go, we have 54 tortillas for ourselves, which turns ourselves into right now, 19 tostadas. The first one has to go up here for show and hopefully these are good oh it at least topped us off and a good use out of the sleeping bag for the first time oh it automatically picks it up too oh that's so good but there we have it this long chaotic journey to finally have some food i don't know why it took so long to get here but we've done it just kidding hold that intro here it's finally spring i slept one more time one more and it's spring oh our crops are gonna grow we have our toast tostadas we've got everything leave a like down below if you did enjoy subscribe if you're brand new but with that my friends i'll catch you on the flip side where is finally spring oh boy